we go into this game against Bristol, obviously it'll be a, a side different, I suppose, to the team that played in Ireland last week. And how, without, you can tell me the team if you want, but I know it's probably a bit early days yet. Is it many changes from the side? I, mean, I presume some new faces will be in. What, what's the sort of the, the, the way it's going to come down? Yeah, if you look at this competition in the past, we've used it to, to rotate players in and to rest players. So we're always going with the same philosophy of, you know, we've just come out of a hard block of you know, Heineken Cup games and Premiership games. So it's an opportunity to rest a few guys, but also to give some of those, those younger guys and those senior guys an opportunity to play. So it'll be a, a mixture of some senior players who need game time, but also some younger players there. And you know, we're really confident with the squad we've got now that you know, it showed last year and, and all the years in this competition that we've got a squad to compete you know, on all fronts, depending on whatever you know, side that we can put out. You've got you go into this game unbeaten in the in the tournament so far, two wins and a draw. Where do you see this? Obviously now Europe's over. It, how bigger a priority does this competition become now? I think we've always talked about taking game to game on this game's a new competition. Obviously um, coming out of the Heineken block, so from that perspective, it's it's a massive game for the club, like last week was. And I think once we come out of this competition, we're back into Premiership, it becomes another big game as well. So we've always attacked every competition, and it'll be exactly the same this weekend. You know, we know we're in a in a good position in our group, but we've got a hell of a game up at Bristol this weekend, which you know, with them putting out the side quite early, we know you know what we we need to do and what we're going to expect up there and. Yeah, it's one of those challenges that we're really going to look forward to and, and excited about and the group of players that are going to play on Saturday are going to do the club proud like we do in every game and every competition we play in. You said them naming their side early, how, does that, A does that surprise you and B how much of a help is that really? Because I guess you still get a good amount of time to prepare because most teams wouldn't have named their side on a Friday before a weekend anyhow. Yeah, it does give you a little bit of advantage in terms of some of the things that we talked about in the week, um, in terms of where you know, we'd like to attack and play around the players that we thought might play, um, helps us a little bit. Uh, from a mental and physical and yeah, an emotional perspective, we know that both teams have got a lot of things to, to play for. You know, we are going to be going up with, with a younger side, but for me that gives these players something to really look forward to and get excited about and not look and go, you know, we're playing a perceived Premiership you know, squad mm. going up to Bristol. Um, you know, any player will tell you that those types of games are the ones you want to be playing in. And, and in the past, in this competition last year and the year before in the finals, we've played some strong sides, you know, Newcastle and the, the semi-home here and, and Bath in the in the final. You know, we've played some tough teams, but yeah. you know, that's one thing as a club and as a group of players that we've talked about that <laughs> they're really looking forward to. You've obviously... We had new contracts this week and, and, and things like that. It seems that it's all kind of going well at the moment at the club and even off the field as well. How important is it that when you see players like Henry and Luke Aaron Dickey and, and, and Jack commit to the club and commit their futures to the club, especially as they're homegrown and they've come through via people like yourself? Yes, yeah, it's, it's massively important. You know, Rob will tell you when, it, when you look at recruitment, you want to be keeping the players that are, you're in your squad and have been and working within that environment. Obviously, to bring players from outside, it means we've got to upskill them and develop them that way which we have done um, so keeping our homegrown players and, and the players you know, like Henry and, and Jack and those players with a few other around that squad is, is massively important you know, like with any recruitment you need to have the right people and you want players you want to play for you so you know, Luke and those guys have been in now for a, for a good period of time they've shown you know, what we want in our players and, and it's really pleasing to have them on board and you know, hopefully in the you know, next month and and moving forward, that you know, our squad will grow again. You know, we'll lose some players, which will be you know, disappointing, but also we'll get some players coming in, and, and that'll be you know, really pushing our squad on for next season. Last time you played Bristol here a few weeks ago, Pat Lamb talked about the role of the mall after the line out and, and, and things like that, and, and sort of said that Exeter would take. I'm not sure if I'm not sure who's criticising Exeter per se or the refereeing of how Exeter play. You obviously would have heard those comments. and. Do you think there will be a bit of an extra focus on Exeter's tactics this weekend? As you only said those things a few weeks ago. I think, you know, in, in any direct, director of rugby or anyone that's heading up the the, the team for the weekend, mm -hmm. you will look at areas where you know, there's things that you want to bring up with the referee. You know, in in the past, you know, we we have pride ourselves on our mall game, and we do look to get our backs joining the mall. So if that's an area that you know. Um, teams want to focus on in terms of trying to stop us that's that's brilliant for us because it means we can move our focuses into other areas um, yeah everyone has the, the right to their own opinion and, and 
you know, whether you know, on, on a Saturday we talk to the referee about certain areas that we're looking at is part and parcel of the game and um, it's just you know, something that you know, we'll take on board for this weekend and you know, we'll be aware of it as well.